what's up guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky welcome to my channel <laughs> guys i'm just feeling hyperactive so you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is vicky like i have told you please consider to hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to the channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video and please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you do enjoy my cheese okay all right guys yesterday i come in here and i was telling you guys about kid wire and Erica like they've been all over themselves even after telling us that they have broken up if you've not seen that video I'll be leaving the link up here so you just go check it out you understand okay so after they decided to come back now guys that coming back actually did more harm than good to Lacon because for some reason they've just been all over each other like I said in that video they've been eating each other's lips they've been doing all sorts of in the house of late in fact since yesterday And then Lacon has not been himself. Lacon has spoken to praise. They have talked about it. Like Lacon has virtually spoken to all the housemates about this she and Erica's issue. You understand? And it's not for 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 me. I just feel like this whole emotion thing, this whole love thing, is about to spoil Lacon's game. It's really like messing his game up per se. You get because Lacon has just been back and forth with his, with his emotions since yesterday. As in that yesterday, you get so he's just been moody. He's been lying down on the bed. He's been like. Lekon is almost crying, though, but you know, because of how it is now, he cannot just start shedding tears. But Lekon has really, it has really messed up with his emotions, you know. But he actually, I think he, he woke up this morning and then he spoke to Erica and was telling Erica that, okay, that he's not telling her not to do what she wants to do, that he, he will be fine, you understand? She should do what makes her happy, that he's fine by it, that he's not about to make her feel sad, but he's all about her happiness. And if what whatever she's doing is actually making her happy, she should go ahead with it. And you know that Kid Wire is one person that, you know, they shake, you know, they even do like say he consign her, but what he knows is that. He will keep doing what he's doing. Kid Wire is unbothered about the whole thing that is happening. He's even acting as if he doesn't know what's up. But Kid Wire is very much aware because he knows how to come in your presence and mark his territory. So that's just basically what has been happening. You know, remember the other time Erica was telling her that she's going to try to be to to avoid him to avoid her emotions or what she does flirting with uh, Kid Wire she won't be doing it in the presence of lacon so it won't be looking as if she's rubbing it in his face but you know the worst thing that erica has been doing erica keeps coming to lacon are you okay are you all right these are oh Ma, you have to leave him alone because i feel that you have to allow him suck it up and heal naturally you don't have to keep asking him eh, is everything all right he's obviously not all right and he needs that time to actually feel all right or he needs that time to actually you know build himself up or to actually get over what he's feeling for you and you're making it worse so maybe you might be thinking you're trying to be of good to him or you're trying to help him by always coming i feel if somebody is feeling for someone you give them space and erica is not doing that because the thing that would have been better for lacon is the space erica will give her him and not the one she keeps coming are you okay are you all right always like maybe trying to show concern you get and it's not really 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 helping lacon at this very point in time because as it stands like this i'm sure he might need a little, a little bit of space to get over it so that he can bounce back to his game and that's it for the erica lacon and whatever they've just been tremendously flirtatious with each other lately i mean erica and kid wire and lacon is in to always feel bad about it so he has to get himself together and move on okay so next one i want to talk about them uh, guys hmm Kidwire is a flex. Like Kidwire, I'm in fact, uh, Kidwire has an A1. Okay, let me just you guys what happened. Do you know that Kidwire was advising Nengi on, on how to mess with the whole guy's head? Like tutoring Nengi that like because you know that Nengi is a female. In fact, Kidwire said it that Nengi is the female version of him, and and if he was a female, he would have really messed with the whole minds with the heads of all the guys in the house he was telling nengi that she should go ahead and mess with their minds like because see yeah, let's let's just in fact let's forget about the fact that um we've been bashing nengi or people have been bashing nengi the truth of the matter is nengi is the eye candy of that house let's give it to her because one the girl the babe has everything physically like she's pretty she's she's she has shape and 
what what does a man a man that falls men that normally fall for women what do they really want if it, that's not what nengi actually possess you understand so nengi just possesses all of this no cap you get so um kidwire was just telling her that you should flex with also you should flex with prince you should even flex with eric like she should she should not let her guards down you get because one and kid um nengi was like she, she she's already doing enough harm than good that um the last time she actually did that with prince which was the truth or dead they did that she actually um demonstrated the favorite sex position of prince with a, a prince that also did not take it well also actually went cold on her for like one week that also will not be able to take it and she's like and he was like i'm not telling you that you should go and kiss them on their lips what i'm saying is you can just go kiss them on their neck and walk away and let them just let their mind go wild and i'm like jesus christ this man this guy like because he's what you were just saying that because if he was like Nengi, that he would have messed with their mind he should mess with it and me at this point then see let's leave it let's just let's talk about this thing big brother ninja is a game and the truth of the matter is that what Nengi is doing yes she's playing games the truth of the matter is that that is the reason why they are in the house to so give us that content to so play the game the, the the highest player wins the game so if she, if that is her game plan is to if her game plan is to flex with everybody in the house then she's doing her job properly and kid wire is just telling her to actually keep on at it that eric doesn't have a girl she should go with it that he should she should shake tables like she should shake tables that the house is becoming they are becoming too comfortable with this they are lover 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 and let me tell you if i am nengi maybe that is what i would have even done because the truth of the matter is that that babe has everything everything that a lady should have physically and then what me i would have done after doing what kid wire actually advised me i will come back to keep kid wire and shake his own personal table like i will so mess up with his mind because he will not be left out he's, he's advising me now that i should go about you know messing with the minds of other males in the house then he shouldn't be left out i would i would do what i have to do with other guys because that is the game the best player wins according to even their advert you get i will do it after doing it i will come back to kid wire and i will shake the tables the in fact at this point the more table they shake the more happy i even become said because it gives me great content to come and give to you guys because at this point they are becoming too relaxed so me now i'm campaigning for nengi to shake tables in the house let her shake tables let her scatter what she wants to scatter kid wire has already given out the advice that she did i don't know if she's going to work with it because last night tolani badge and um prince they actually wanted to be, they became an item officially i don't know if that is going to work for tolani badge because tolani badge has been hustling prince for the longest time and then last night i think prince have already decided that okay she is going to work with tolani badge or he's going to have a thing with tolani badge this is the right time and then the tolani badge was asking prince if she had a, he has anything to do with nengi he was like no you guess this is the right time for even Nengi to go to that prince and shake tables, like shake all the tables. Yes, also is going to feel bad. Also might be the one not taking it well. But at this point, you came to play the games for the money. When you guys leave the house, you can talk about any other thing you want to talk about. You can want to have a relationship. But this BB Niger is for the is a game. Shake tables. Let Nengi shake tables. Kidwire has advice. But me, if I am Nengi. After shaking tables, I will still come back and shake Kid Wire's table because I cannot leave its table on shaking. You get, though everybody is going to be against Nengi, but let's not forget that this is truly a game, and that's what Kid Wire actually stated because Nengi is a perfect figure for like every guy have been all over nengi the whole guys she's the one that plays table tennis with them so it's like she's playing table tennis with them shaking her bum bum everywhere and their eyes are popping out of their socket looking at it she has everything they they they, they actually would love to see so i feel that she should use it at her own benefits at this point because that 85 million naira is a lot of money so shaking tables will either take you far or you know you will just be like the content we actually signed up so that's just it Tolani Badge and Prince, I don't know what they've been up to, you get. They had a long conversation last night. And then they actually, up to the point that Prince was already cajoling her to actually come and spend the night on his bed. I don't know if they actually did because I watched to a point and Kyle, they refused to show us if they actually went to spend the night together on the same bed. So that's just basically it. And then when kid, when um, Prince and Tolani Badge were talking, we saw rats in the Big Brother Niger house. Kilo, they, they did not fumigate the place. <laughs> We saw Rat. Rat actually featured in the Bibi Niger house last night. You get so that's just it. I just feel like maybe Nengi should take the advice and 
I yes, they will talk. We out here will talk. People in there will talk. But she's playing her game. She is trending. She is going forward. Because, okay, people that don't have content to actually trend, okay, what are they doing? Everybody has game plan and it's not you don't follow the game plan of everybody. Your own game plan has to be to be different. I think Nengi came with the game plan of being flirtatious and then now it's as if she's about to pipe down because of the gossips going out going about in the house. But I feel that she should take Kid Wire's advice and just keep at it because at this point 85 million naira is at stake. That's just my thing. So that's just it, guys. I'll be coming with you guys. Today is they they are they, they're actually going to be doing their arena game and I'll be coming with you guys about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, turning on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. Okay. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye.